Um, I want to talk about the surfaces. And here, this print was done on a piece of Denral. And we're calling this two-sided frosted mylar, which is actually a brand name called Denral. And I find that the Denral comes in very large surfaces. It's 36 inches wide, and then you can get 10, 10 yards of it. So that is a very interesting material to print on. And we just simply coat it with a gum arabic. And I'll be talking about that in a minute. So what I want to do to, to first introduce monotype to you and monoprint is to show you some different kinds of surfaces. These surfaces range from something extremely slick, and we could have, say, a traditional piece of copper, which could be very, very slick, shiny surface, to something that has somewhat of a texture. So this denral here, or two-sided frosted mylar, has a very, very slight texture, sort of like a very fine piece of sandpaper. And that is going to give a different character to the wash, I find, and to also how you would draw on that surface. And we'll talk a little bit as we go along about the application of different inks onto the surface. A piece of styrene, which is a kind of plastic, has a smooth surface, yet slightly textured, just very slightly textured, and oftentimes the surface texture is smoother on one side and slightly more textured on the other side. So that's a very nice surface, and this can be cut, scored, and broken into different shapes even, or different sizes. So this is a very flexible surface, where, of course, cutting a piece of copper down would be a little bit more difficult. The denral could also be cut into shapes as well. We'll be talking about that in just a second. Just to continue to examine some surfaces, this is something called Speedy Cut, and it is a material that's like eraser material, very flexible, can be cut very easily with a cutting tool to create incised surface, but it also could be used as a very nice surface for working on, and since it's flexible, it can be used almost without a press, and you can almost press it down this way. So those are very nice advantages of different types of surface. I have here also a piece of steel now, steel is very interesting because it holds sort of a tone, and it's a slightly pitted surface, and although it appears to be smooth, it's nowhere near a mirror surface, so it has a kind of inherent texture, and it will take the ink in a different way. Another thing that's very nice about steel that's different than the copper is that the steel will not oxidize when colors go onto it, where the copper will. So those are issues to think about when you're making a print if you're dealing with very bright, bright colors. And another smooth surface, again smooth but has a texture, is a lithoplate, aluminum lithoplate. That used in lithography, like for oil-based oil lithography, but we could use it in water-based printing. We can coat this with a gum arabic surface and make it a very resilient surface, one that will really transfer the color in a very intense way. So that can be very, very nice to use. And the back of the aluminum could also be used as a surface. You could also virtually work on pieces of sandpaper. So that would be another kind of surface. Now, the sandpaper, if we wa work with water base, glues come off uh, in the printing. So we could coat these surfaces with acrylic. And once those are coated with an acrylic medium and then hardened, then we could use them, draw on them, and then the ink would not not stick to the surface and not be used as a glue that would come off onto a piece of paper. Now I'm going to introduce a couple of roughened surfaces or changed surfaces, uh, found surfaces. So those also could be things used. I could draw on this, okay? If it were coated with acrylic, I could then make a drawing on this, and that surface then would be reflected, and we could print that, we could fold that, we could change. Here we have a piece of copper that has some drawing onto it. So if I would draw onto the surface, then we're going to end up with something more called a mono print. So we'll be reviewing that in a minute. But that also could be a kind of coarser or changed surface. The collagraph surface, and this is a whole technique which we'll talk about later. This is a surface that has some acrylic on it with a carborundum, which has an image on it. So we're, we're going into the area of monoprint, which I'll talk about in a minute. So these are pieces of denral that are cut up, and all of these could be drawn on. 
and then placed in different ways. This surface is a kind of plastic. It's got a very smooth side to it, but if you feel that, it has quite a roughened side. What's interesting, too, is I found this in the back in the storage area, and somewhere along the line, it got wet and possibly a piece of steel onto it. So this is actually roughened up here. So this actually could be a sort of natural way. And if we would actually draw on this, the drawing is going to be reflected with with this pattern underneath it. So this is just the back of a styrene where somebody has used it as a cutting board. And that also could be a kind of found surface. These are just simply pieces of paper that have been coated with acrylic. And by using the acrylic very thinly, but still with a brush mark, we could use those as surfaces. And again, their underdrawing or this drawing that's on the surface is going to be something that reflects. Yeah. And this one has a coating of very thin tissue paper and then scored in marks. So that, again, is going to go into our category of monoprint, meaning that if we wash this surface off, there will be something there. So this surface is different than that surface, yet textured at the same time. And wow. here's another one of those roughened surfaces. This steel surface is made with an aquatint and we bite it several times to create a kind of coarse surface. And I would say that it's similar to a coarseness of a piece of sandpaper. So those, just to start, before we even get into talking about ink, we already are examining different ways that we can make our, our prints uh, different and exciting.